Welcome to DowerTin.com. Today we're going to take a look at another product from StarTech. This is StarTech's USB 3 mini docking station. And what this thing has is uh, it is uh, HDMI or VGA built into it, as well as Gigabit Ethernet and a USB pass through all in one. And so I'm kind of excited to see what this thing is like because ultimately um, I'm going to use it on my Surface Pro 3. And well, Surface Pro 3 only has one USB 3 port. And so with this, uh, should be able to basically have one device uh, plugged into it that can go to an external monitor, have my Gigabit Ethernet, and still have USB port available to me. So let's go take a look at what's in the box and we'll hook it up and give it a go. Okay, so now I have a setup over here where I have my Surface Pro 3 and my Dell HD display over here. And I'm going to be trying out the mini dock. So once again, the mini dock only does support one monitor at, monitor at a time, even though it's got two ports. You can either do VGA or HDMI. And I'm just going to use the HDMI once. It's the easiest one I have over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. And then I'm going to grab over here and grab my Ethernet. Plug that in. And we'll just flip this guy out and we'll plug it in over here and see what, see what happens. Now I have the display link software that StarTech uh, offers installed on here and if I can plug this in there we go give it a moment to find it and voila there you see so now I have two displays now as you can see that I got the link lights flashing over here so that the, I'm, I am on a wired wired network connection and let's see let's take a look at what the resolution screen, screen resolution says okay so says I have it up and down, but really right now in this setup I have it left uh, left to right. So I'll move this over. Whoops. And, oh, actually, you know what? Notice it doesn't like, uh, like to use the native Windows one very well. So the, the software that StarTech provides has options for setting things up. Let's see, where is that option? Where is it? It's kind of hard to see all these things here. So there it is. So when I find it here, I could tell it to, once I get it to run up, come up. I could choose the display and I say, all right, I want to extend, but I want to extend to the right. And it rearranges it. And now you can see that it goes to the right. So now with that, I can do some of the typical things like run Photoshop, run Chrome, I can kind of scoop this over and put it over here if I want to. So I can work there, have Chrome over here. As I can see that, I have two displays now working. And I don't have to worry about worrying, I don't have to worry about using the display port or, or ultimately losing my only USB 3 connector. Because now with this one port here, I can basically plug in, I can plug in my jump drive. And I have access to my jump drive. I haven't lost the port. I have a monitor out there and I have a wired Ethernet. So this kind of takes the place of multiple little devices I have. And it's, so it's quite quite handy. So I'm going to take a look at this thing on a Mac now. So let's see what, 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 it, what it's like on that. Here we have my MacBook Pro Retina on the side over here. And um, once I get the Dell monitor, with like the same setup I had before with my Surface. So I'm going to plug this in. And once again, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, um, this one already has, already has the display link software that has been that uh, comes from StarTech installed. So let's plug this in and see what happens. I right, see. It looks like it activated. You can see the Ethernet now is blinking. Now I didn't find the display. Let's find what's going on over here. Oh, okay. There you go. Just took a minute to flash. There we are. Okay, now, now we're good. So I just had to be patient. So it, takes, it takes a moment to come right up. But basically now it's here. All right, so it already knows my setup apparently. It's side to side. Let's go to the system preferences and look at the display settings here. And look at the arrangement. So it sees it's basically a side to side. I can kind of position it a little bit lower, a little bit higher maybe, so that the cursor is a little bit more lined up. That's a little bit better. So now with that set up, I can now then run Chrome or or the App Store or Photoshop and then basically have things kind of I can cross between them. So now I can basically run programs and move this to the side over here. I have Chrome over here, Photoshop over here. 
and it's all set. So that's a real nice thing. Uh, this is actually <laughs> works a little bit better on the MacBook Pro because it's it's kind of lays flat on the table. Uh, the one thing about the Surface Pro 3 is that this cable is kind of short, so it kind of dangles. So that could be kind of a problem if you don't really like that. Um, so with this, uh, you know, taking up only one port, I still have the port over here. And I can drive my monitor. And the nice thing is I have Ethernet now. Because well, the MacBook it doesn't have an Ethernet. And this kind of does multiple duties. So, so there you have it. A look at StarTech's mini USB 3 dock. Uh, with um, well, HDMI or VGA and Ethernet. If you have any questions about this thing or if you haven't covered something and you want to see more about this or any questions, please let me know. Uh, subscribe and feel free to um, you know, look at other videos and send me any feedback you, you care to send. So thanks for watching.